Hey, 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 everybody. It's your boy, Toke Master, coming to you live from Ring Eye Studio. Just checking in with y'all, man, seeing what's going on. I'm sitting back chilling. Had a good day. Happy Monday to everybody. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do these every week, you know, maybe twice a week, you know, depending on how things go. Um, right now, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite bourbons and whiskeys and a couple of the cigars I like to pair with each of them so that you can get an idea of how I get down in my free time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because it's going to be a lovely one. Y'all going to like some of the choices that I got here too. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm taking my very first flight next month going to Vegas. Yes, I'm 38 years old and never been on an airplane. I've heard it all. Trust me, I know. It's a long time coming, but I'm finally going to make it happen. Right now, as I record this, I'm sipping on some Centauri Whiskey Toki. It's pretty good. It's pretty mild, you know, for a Monday. You know, nothing major, just, you know. Something, you know, to, you know, just a nice little, I don't even know what to say, but it's nice. It's not harsh. It's not strong. You know, it, it hit just right, if you ask me. This could be an everyday drink if, you know, you're into this kind of stuff. But I'm trying to decide which bottle to take with me to Vegas to celebrate. So I have... Smoke wagon, unfiltered. Have never had this before. I've heard plenty good things about it. If you know anything about it, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. This is one option. This is something that I've grown to love. Lagavolin 16. Fresh bottle, ain't never opened it. Some good stuff right here. I also have, and this was a gift from my neighbor. Not really a gift. He gave it to me for pretty much pennies compared to how much it costs. Johnny Walker, 18. 18 year old Johnny Walker. Apparently, you know, I'm still new to the Scotch whiskey world that uh, there's Johnny Walker Blue, then Platinum, then this is right underneath it. I don't know anything about it. We're going to see what happens. And then I also have what I like to call Old Faithful. A bottle of Blanton's. Unopened, still got the wax on it. Still got the little net on the outside. I don't know which one to, to take to Vegas with me. I hear that they're all pretty good. You know, all the choices that I have, they're all pretty good choices. Um, like I said, it's my first flight. So I'm trying to figure out which one to take. I don't really know what to do. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Uh, hope everybody's having a good Monday. But on top of the bottles that are the choice of bottles that I have, I also have some pretty good sticks to take with me. So let me grab those. I'll be right back and we can talk about those. One second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me get me another little swig. All right. So got a bag of goodies here. So like I said, I'm going to Vegas. And... The options that I have, I've smoked every last one of these, so I already know what they're hitting on. These are all Cuban cigars. I have the Hoyo de Monterey, Epicure number two. I have one of my absolute favorites, the Magnum 54. I got a couple Magnum 50s in my humidor too. I have 
there's another one in here. Hold on. Is this it? Yeah, 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 yeah. A Bolifar, Fino. Yeah, this is a good one. This is a damn good smoke here. And then I have one of these Epicures with a little fancy band on it. I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so it's called the Epicure Deluxe. You see, it's got this extra band on it. I'm trying to figure out which one to take. Chances are I'm going to take about 15 cigars because I'm going to be there for about five days. And everybody that I talked to said never go to Vegas for <laughs> longer than two, three days at a time. But I'm going to go out to L.A., you know what I'm saying, um, drive out to L.A. And, uh, you know, go see, like, the, the, the Walk of Fame and, you know, go see the Marathon Store. Like, I'm trying to go to the hood. Like, my partners I'm going with, they ain't really with the shits. So, you know, I'm all the way with it. <laughs> but, you know, everything ain't for everybody, and that's cool. Um, But, yeah, so getting on my first plane, trying to figure out which bottle I'm going to get. We're well, not going to get, but, you know, which bottle I'm going to take, you know, uh, I'm going to enjoy myself regardless because I like to gamble. You know, alcohol is free. Clearly, I like my libations, you know, buffets, shows. I did see that um, Ice Cube is going to be out there the time that I'm out there. There's also a Motown show that's going to be going down out there. And of course, I got to go see Cirque du Soleil. Um, you know, if I can catch Cher, that would be dope. You know what I mean? I, you know, I, you know, a lot of people don't fuck with Cher because she... You know, don't really do music that's really popular amongst a lot of people. But, you know, I would like to see her just to say something that I did, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to take my first flight. It's going to be to Vegas. It's an early flight, like 6 in the morning, which I think would be dope because, you know, the sun might just be rising by the time we get out there. And I want to see how lit up, you know, Vegas look. They say you can see it from the sky, so... You know, I, I feel like that's the experience I want to have. Um, you know, just uh, I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, I got a lot of emotions and feelings going on right now. Uh, just thinking about getting on an airplane. Um, I, I can't wait, man. It's just something that I think will be awesome. It's something I need to experience. And everybody tells me once I fly for the first time, I'm never going to want to travel any other, any type of way. So, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, just, you know, I get my luxury cigar package uh, first week of April. So it might be some good stuff in there that I might want to take with me. Because like I said, I'm going to take about, about 15, maybe 20 cigars with me. And uh, I'm just going to eat good, drink good, gamble good, hopefully, and, you know, just enjoy myself. It's my first flight. Um, you know, I wanted my first flight to be out the country, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. As long as I get on the plane and I, it's something I can say that I did. And, um, you know, we'll see how things go from there. But I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, what I do between now and then because, you know, I may fuck around and take a plane to New York just to say I got on a plane. But, you know, it's going to be a wonderful thing. I'm I'm pretty, I'm quite sure of it. I'm, I'm quite sure of it. That Suntory boy, very smooth, very easy going on you. It's not gonna smack you around. It's a, I think I got the bottle for about thirty bucks, maybe thirty, maybe forty bucks. I think it was less than forty bucks. Yeah, so we'll see. You know, I'm I'm trying to find ways to make these videos longer. I know there's a lot of things I want to talk about um, as far as men's health. Um, skincare, beard care. You know, my beard ain't as big as a lot of guys are, but you know, I'm starting it off. It's going good. It's going good. Um, you know, sports, trades, all that good stuff. But you know, y'all just walk with me and we're going to make this thing happen. 
But I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get up off here. Not, not another little short one, probably less than 10 minutes. And, um, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Go on. You thought I was going to cut it off. Ah!